Is Cortana the best prop firm for high frequency trading bots or not? I got funded with Cortana within less than 30 minutes passively and without me doing any trade. And if you want to know how I did it and how you can do it too, then you should definitely stick till the end of the video. However, before I show you how I got funded within less than 30 minutes with Cortana and this totally passively without any knowledge, let's check out Cortana itself. What are the requirements for a funded account? Is Cortana a legit prop firm and are the payout requests currently working or not? Cortana definitely has some nice catches such as an up to 100% profit share. Additionally, you can request a withdrawal every 7 days and there is an amazing withdrawal time of only 12 hours. And on top of that, we also have a zero time limit. So it doesn't matter if you've passed your prop challenge within one day, one week, one month, or maybe even three months or more. However, these information are just a catch and we need to see the complete details. 100% profit share is possible with Cortana. However, the 100% are only after your fourth payout. With your first payout, you will only get 50% payout and then every two weeks they will increase it until you reach the 100% along with the Cortana Prime status, which you can get within 60 days. Same applies with the seven day payout cycle. So your very first payout, you are eligible only after 21 days. And then after four successful withdrawals, you will again become a Cortana Prime member and then you can request a withdrawal every seven days, which is pretty nice. The no time limit, however, has no restriction. You really can just pass it within a day or within just a few minutes or even within a year or later. It really doesn't matter. Last but not least, you can scale your Cortana prop account up to $3 million, which is really huge. So every three months, we are eligible for a 25 increase of our account size up to $3 million. This is really nice. So if you're a good trader, this can be a really nice opportunity. Along with that, they also allow overnight trading and also EA trading and not only EA trading, but even high frequency trading bots. And this one is a huge benefit for everyone who is using HFT bots because the most prop firms do not allow them. Now let's check about the reputation of Cortana and if the payouts are actually working. And we can have a look at Trustpilot for this and you will find that they have a 4.4 from 5 star review and more than 2000 reviews as of now. However, there are definitely some 1 star reviews which is currently around 13%. We will check them out later as we speak. So now let's have a look at some of the challenges which they are offering, the prices and the requirements. And of course, if you decide to join Cortana at any time of the video, feel free to use the link down below in the description. I personally got a 200k dollar account, which cost around $1,000. However, Cortana is running regularly some promotions. Even now we can get 25% off all challenges when we pay with crypto until March 1st. And I'm pretty sure even after March 1st, there will be some promotion running. However, if you don't want to risk the $1,000 or whatever promotion you got, you can also go with as little as a 10K account, which then costs around $140 if you have no promotion applied. With Cortana, you only have a one phase evaluation. So once you pass your first phase, you are funded and you can start trading on your funded account. The profit target for any account size is 8% with a maximum daily loss of 5%, which is allowed and a total maximum loss of 10%. This is pretty much the industry standard. So nothing special on this. And if you don't know much about trading or you just don't have the time, or just want to have a peace of mind that you're guaranteed passing this challenge and not wasting the challenge fee of 140 or even with a 200k of $1,000, then you might want to check out Funded For You, which is a service provider who helps us to pass prop firm challenges guaranteed within less than 24 hours. And I used them, I tested them twice. They both times got me funded within 24 hours and usually even less than an hour. But what does it mean guaranteed? 
So actually, they currently have a success rate of 100%, but they are promising if they fail the challenge, then you will get not only a 100% refund of the service fee, which we paid for funded for you, but they will also refund the challenge fee, which you paid, for example, with Fortana. If you want to know more about funded for you about the service and all the details, you can go down below in the description. You will find the Telegram channel to them with all the information and the contact details to the support. Or you can also check out my video, which I made over here and where I explained in depth the service, the cost and how it all works with funded for you. And by the way, if you at some point end up and want to go ahead with funded for you and their service of passing prop firm challenges, then you may want to mention them that you saw a video of me, Melanie Buchholz, or just mention the discount code FUNDED20 in order to get a 20% discount on their service fees. However, please also note that as of now, funded for you only offers the passing of the prop firm challenges, also not with all prop firms, but just some. So definitely check out all details in their Telegram channel or also check out my video about it to get a good overview. But as things change, of course, the Telegram channel from them is the best. However, they do not offer passing all prop firms, but just a bunch. So definitely check it out with them and see if those prop firms are good for you. Also, as of now, they do not offer any account management. So they only help you to pass the challenge. But as soon as you have a funded account, it's up to you to actually trade. They want to add account management in the future, but it might take another month or two because they're still testing things. But for everyone who don't know how to trade, they actually got you covered as they are offering trading signals. They do have a free signal group and also a premium VIP group. And if you buy a service with them to pass a prop firm challenge, then you get automatically access to the VIP trading signal group. And in January alone, they made more than 8,500 pips, which if we are assuming we are trading with a lot size of one and on Euro USD, for example, it would mean $10 per pip, which would lead then more to 85,000 in profit. Of course, if it's our first withdrawal, however, of course, if it's with Cortana, for example, and it's our first pay out, then we just get a 50% split, which would still be more than $40,000. So you can see, even if you do not copy all trading signals of them, it is really easy to have return on invest within the first payout cycle, or even make massive profit within the first cycle. And even if you trade with a smaller account and not with a 200k or 100k account, it's really the risks are for me definitely worth it. But also always keep in mind that I'm not a financial advisor or similar. Always do your own research. I'm showing you on this channel only what I am doing and what I am willing to risk. Please always dig deeper, do your own research and always keep in mind trading is high risk. Prop firms are high risk and you should only invest money which you don't need for a living. There are some changes in the rules and regulations once you got a funded account which is really, really important to notice and important to follow. First thing, we have two important things which we definitely need to be aware of, which would be a breach of the terms, but in this case, just a soft breach, which would lead to a reset of your account. And the first soft breach which we have is a consistency rule. And this consistency rule is applicable as long as they allow the high frequency trading bots. As soon as they do not allow those bots anymore, then they will remove the consistency rule. And the consistency rule says that we need to have at least five minimum trading days for each withdrawal. So especially if we later want to have the seven days payout cycle, this would actually mean we need to trade almost every day in order to really withdraw every week. And along with that, you also need to make sure with which lot sizes you are trading because you are only allowed to have a minimum lot size of 25% of your average lot size, which you can see here. This is the bottom of your range or you can duplicate your average lot size to have the top of your range. If you're below the bottom or above the top, this will actually means that you will not get any profits from that. 
and that those trades will actually be deleted. So in this example, your average lot size was for example two, which actually means that if your trade is below than 0.5 lots, it will not count. And if it's more than four lots, it will also not count. Last but not least, you cannot have one trade which is making more than 50% of the profit. So they really want you to make proper trades with a proper risk management. Apart from the consistency rule, another soft breach would be short-term trading, which in case of Cortana means that every trade must be open at least for two minutes. Otherwise, those trades will also not count. But now let's check the hard breaches, which actually leads to account closure. And this also means that we lost our account fully. And if we want to go ahead with Cortana, then we would need to buy another proper. And of course, if your account got closed, you will not get any further payouts. So we definitely want to avoid them. The first and most obvious hard breaches are the drawdowns, where you cannot exceed a daily maximum drawdown of 5% or 10% overall. Also, with your funded account, you are not allowed to hold trades over the weekend or to trade during important trading news. Additionally, we can only have a maximum of two open trades per currency pair, per trading pair, which is a really important one. Otherwise, it's simply a hard breach. Even you think it's not a big deal and they could just remove the third or fourth trade or whatever. Please keep this in mind. You can only have a maximum of two trades per pair. It is also a hard breach if one trade is making more than 50% of the profit. And we can also not have any bots, EA services or copy services once we have the funded accounts. So these high frequency trading bots or any other trading bots are only allowed for passing the challenge, but not once you get funded. This is so, so important. And another thing which I noticed that people are not really aware of or just they don't care is that we can have a maximum of two logins. And another really, really important rule which leads to a hard breach and where I found that many people don't probably take care of or they are not aware of it, I don't know, is that we can only have a maximum of two logins from different devices within the same city. So in best case, you should make sure that you have a maximum of two IP addresses only where you access Cortana or doing the trading. If you're going on vacation and traveling, However, you still can trade, but make sure to contact the support first, let them know and let them confirm that this will not be a breach of the terms and conditions. A small tip when it comes to the consistency rule, which I just forgot. And if you don't want to calculate your average lot size or you feel just uncomfortable, you can also trade every th time with the same lot size or just have it from what you could do is also to trade every single trade with the same lot size, though it is not recommended because your risk would change depending on how far your entry point is from the stop loss, of course. But if you go with a small risk, with a small lot size, this could be okay. I do not recommend it though to have always the same lot size, but if you are feeling more comfortable with it, this could be an option for you. So let's get back to the IP addresses and to the two logins from different devices. And there it could help if you only log in on the same device, you're in the same network. You should not use a VPN service, especially if you're not sure if they are static or not, because most of the VPNs, they have no static IP address, but it always changes. And not only the IP addresses changes, but also the location. So sometimes you would be in city A and the next time in city B even it's the same country. And this could lead to a really hard breach from Cortana and this you would lose your entire account and you will have no payouts anymore. But if you want to be on the really safe side, you could go with a VPS instead of a VPN. And when I am trading or have some trading bots running, I usually use forexvps.net which starts from $36 a month. And you can already see here, you do have a dedicated IP address and 
during the setup process, during your order process, you can also decide where it is. I usually take mine in London most of the time because that's where the servers from the most prop firms are and this the ping rate is a little lower. VPS is definitely not mandatory but recommended from my side but if you're using any trading bots yourself then a VPS is definitely a must because due to the VPS your bot will run even if your computer, your laptop or whatever is offline because it runs on a completely entire server though we can exit us with our laptop and of course even with our smartphone and we can really make sure no matter where we are at the world, no matter how much we are traveling, we always have the dedicated IP addresses so we can make sure that this breach will definitely not bother us at all. If you want to join Forex VPS, feel free to use the link down below in the description. It will also give you a discount code to get the best price available. And if you have some more questions about the VPS, what it is, how to set it up on your computer, on your mobile phone, whatever, drop me a comment down below and I'm happy to answer it for you or even make an update video, a step-by-step -step tutorial, whatever you desire. So how does it work with the withdrawals? As said, you can do your first withdrawal after 21 days and then later you can even do it after seven days. And all withdrawals are made in crypto with USDT ERC20 network. And one thing which I definitely recommend you to do is to withdraw your funds, your profits, not on an exchange or a software wallet, but to use a hardware wallet. And I also recommend you to not only have one hardware wallet, but to diversify and have multiple wallets for different projects. For example, I personally have many wallets and I use a different wallet for different purposes. For example, I have one wallet, which is just a hardware wallet for Bitcoin, another wallet, which is a hardware wallet for other altcoins, I have a wallet for airdrops only. I have one wallet which is more for staking and trading. I have a wallet for everyday expenses. And most importantly, I definitely recommend everyone to have at least one separate wallet which is interacting with smart contracts. So even if you get a malicious smart contract and confirm any weird transactions, your other funds are safe. But having multiple wallets can also be nice just to diversify your projects, to have a more clear understanding where your money is coming from and to just have all organized. One of the wallets which I am using is for example the Decent wallet who have also been kindly enough to sponsor this part of the video. And a few things which I really like about the Decent wallet is that they do not only have a certified secure element chip inside this wallet, but also we need to confirm every transaction with our fingerprint. This is compulsory. So even someone finds the wallet, he cannot do anything with that. Even an access code or pin would not be enough. But don't you worry, even if something happens with your thumb or whichever finger you want to add, you can add more than just the one finger. The wallet also comes with a really nice screen, so it is easy to see all the transactions which we want to confirm. It does support more than 3000 coins and tokens across 59 blockchains or networks, and it also has NFT support. While the Decent wallet is really beginner friendly, we do have another advantages that we can with this single hardware wallet, set up up to 80 different crypto wallet addresses. So as I said, it is really easy with a decent wallet then to diversify your wallets and assets across various projects, across various prop firms, across various use cases. And this helps you to make your other funds stay safe even in case one wallet address is somehow compromised because you interacted with a malicious smart contract or you had a scammy airdrop or similar. So those up to 80 addresses really helps you to stay safe. And not only this, but the decent wallet is also supporting the passphrase, which is actually a 25th hidden word, which is not based on just some words of the dictionary as the rest of our seed phrase. But the passphrase, it can be any letter and number combination as you want to. It is always case sensitive 
and usually even allows you special characters, which makes it almost impossible that your seed phrase gets hacked. Unfortunately, the passphrase is not supported yet by every hardware wallet, though I wish definitely that everyone would do it, but Decent has it and it definitely makes it unlikely that your seed phrase on the Decent wallet gets hacked anytime. If you want to know more about the Decent wallet, I have made a bunch of videos about it already. You can check out my in-depth review video about the Decent wallet, how you can set it up and make transactions and also how to set up the passphrase on your Decent wallet. And if at one point you decide to get your own Decent wallet, feel free to use the link down below in the description. It will not only support the channel, but it will give you amazing $30 off or if you even get two wallets, you will have $99 off your purchase. Back to Cortana and how legit is Cortana actually? And still, even though Cortana has a 4.4 star review, it still has 13% one star reviews. And if you browse through the one star reviews, you will find that most of them got declined payout requests based on the IP address or any other hard breaches, which we already stated in this video. So really, if you want to be safe with Cortana, I would recommend you to get a VPS to really be safe and to have no issues at all. However, if we do see the reviews, you will also find that some people stating that they had no changing IPs and that they can prove it. I don't know about it, but to be really sure, just use a VPS. However, I don't also think that Cortana is the most legit company or the most trustworthy company, as even if you stick with the rules and regulations from Cortana, they are definitely tricky. I mean, who is allowing high frequency trading bots during the challenge, but then for a funded account not? I mean, why is Cortana allowing so many things like EA trading, overnight trading, news trading, a high frequency trading bots and more during the challenge to pass a challenge. But then when you got a funded account, you have much more restrictions. So usually with the more trustworthy prop firm, it is vice versa. Usually the pass a challenge is much more trickier and has more regulations. And then once you got a funded account, it gets less restricted. But um, with Cortana, it's vice versa, which and I also don't feel that they are really clear or make their regulations for a funded account really obvious on their website, especially before you buy a challenge, at least not on their main landing page. So for me, it looks like a little that they just want to collect some money with the challenges and then they have all the restrictions, which people might not be fully aware of. And then they have a reason to decline a payout. But still, if you are following the rules, which we covered in the videos, Cortana should pay out as of now. And considering the risk and reward ratio with one payout, you can be return on invest and definitely not even in a little profit, but also in a good amount of profit. So for me, it's worth taking the risk. But then definitely if I want to get more accounts funded with high frequency trading boards, I use other trading signals, then I would definitely not go all in with Cortana, but split some on Cortana, some on Nova and other prop firms who are allowing high frequency trading bots. So if you want to know more about the service provider I use to get passed and to secure my 200k account, check out this video. And if you want to save really good amount on YouTube premium, Netflix and other premium subscriptions, check out this video.